hello guys welcome back again to my kitchen where we make mouthwater delicacy in today's video i'll be showing you how to make this buka stew with no further ado let's jump right into the video for the ingredients i will be using bell pepper two types of real bell pepper onions atarodo garlic and ginger then i also have some canned tomatoes I will also be using some protein. I have cooked shaki, I have turkey, I have egg fish, I have snail, beef, and um, lamb. I have croaker fish. I also have horse mackerel fish. All these are the protein I will be using for this buka stew. The first thing I did was to chop all my bell pepper, onions, and tomatoes. I went ahead to blend everything with my blender. Then I will set this aside. In a clean pan, I will be adding my already bleached oil. You will be needing a bleached oil for this recipe. I will allow this to hold for some minutes and then I will add my onions. You can use any onions of your choice, be it white, be it red. Then I will be adding the next ingredient, which is going to be mangi. It is paramount that you add mangi at this point or your seasoning of your choice. And then you fry this for some minutes before I will be adding the blended pepper mix and when you add this please don't cover it immediately please allow it to cook i will cook this for 10 to 12 minutes without covering it because i will i want the water to evaporate and then after 12 minutes later i will go ahead to give this a stir and uh, also taste if there is mangi or seasoning then i'll be adding the mixed stock it is also paramount that you add mixed stock into this um buka stew if you don't have mixed meat stock please go ahead and still go ahead to make your stew like that now i'll be adding cooked shaki then i will give this a stir and after stirring i will continue to cook this at this point i will cover this to cook for 15 to 20 minutes then i will open up the pan and begin to stir this stir and stir and stir making sure your stew is not burned and then i will go ahead to test for salt and maggi my brothers and my sisters at this point the maggi and salt was not salty it was not maggi so i went ahead to add more seasoning add some salt i will be adding the bleached palm oil i divided this into two in order to allow the pepper to fry very well it might seem like too much oil but at the end of the cooking i will take the excess oil out i just needed the oil to cook the tomatoes very well this and cook for another 10 to 12 minutes and after 12 minutes i will open up the pan and now i'll be adding all the proteins such as the snail, the egg fish, the croaker fish, the beef, the lamb, my brothers and my sisters, whatever protein you have, use it for this buka stew. Now that I've finished adding all the mede mede, I will go ahead to stir up this stew. And now I'll be covering this to cook for 10 minutes in order for the stew to penetrate into all the proteins. And then I will open up the pan. Guys, at this point, my kitchen is full of nice, nice aroma. Did you see all those oil? Don't worry. We are going to be taking all this oil, all this excess oil out. Okay. And then I will give this a stir. At this point, I will go ahead to remove the excess oil. And if you are watched up to this moment and you haven't subscribed, please go ahead to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up, share, and leave your comment in the comment section. 
please guys support your girl it doesn't cost anything to subscribe and now that i'm done removing out all the excess oil i'll go ahead to give this a stir and allow to simmer for another five minutes guys look at that look at how beautiful our buka stew is and i hope you'll be recreating this and if you do please let me know thank you after five minutes later our buka stew is ready my husband will not stop talking about this buka stew how he enjoyed it you can use this stew to eat rice spaghetti yam plantain potato thank you guys for watching up to this moment i hope you will recreate this and please don't forget to keep eating good food see you in my next video bye